So we have it yet again. Payday 3 has just released. I was really looking forward to it. I've jumped on and the performance is awful. Not only that, I looked on Steam and there's thousands and thousands of reviews and it's sitting on mostly negative. It's 30% positive. And the reason for that is the performance of the game, mainly the servers. The servers are absolutely terrible. So I'm going to say do not buy this game. I'm going to explain exactly why, but I know that some of you are still going to be interested in the game. So I'm going to say if you are wanting to still buy the game, do yourself a favor. Head to the first link in the description, which will say get cheap games. It'll take you through the CD keys. It is an affiliate link, so I will get commission off it. So it will support the channel at the same time. But do yourself a favor and purchase the game through there if you're going to buy it, because the game's available on Game Pass. But if you're going to buy it to play it on Xbox or you're going to buy it to play it on PC or whatever, save yourself a bit of money and buy it through CD keys because paying the full price for this, I'm going to say the fact that they've even released it right now is unacceptable. And the main reason for that is the servers are dreadful. But not only that, so is the optimization of the game. You load into the game, it starts you off with what they call an invalid loadout. So you have absolutely nothing. You can't change weapons or anything like that. But it would make some players think that they're going to go into the game with absolutely nothing. So you go to like join a heist, start a heist or whatever. You select exactly which one you want to do. And then it's all about the matchmaking. And that's where like one of the biggest problems comes into it. Because you can essentially play the game solo. Like you have bots in the game with you, but you can play it on your own without any other players. And to do that, you have to start a private game and you have to wait for the like game to just register that no one else is joining. And then it's going to chuck a load of bots in with you. But starting up one of those matches can take a very long time. Whereas if you're playing it public, it takes a while to actually initiate matchmaking. There's plenty of people playing the game. On Steam, it's sitting at like over 70,000 concurrent players like at the peak in a 24-hour window. So there's nothing to do with a lack of players because the game's cross-play as well. But then you get into the game and I've seen a lot of people complaining about disconnections and stuff. But not only that, there are loads and loads of frame drops. And I mean, you're just roaming around I did no rest for the wicked the very first one that they actually had a beta for I did that heist and it was frame drop after frame drop after frame drop I don't know if you're going to see it in the footage because OBS can every now and then sort of record the footage and like kind of make the frame drops look as though they're not there if that makes any sense but it was awful to play it's not massive frame drops it's minor frame drops but they're really really frequent and it was just a really bad experience the gameplay itself the game is fantastic you're jumping into heists you're giving up hostages for extra negotiation time then you have police assaults you're setting off thermite things in banks and robbing all their money and stuff it's a really really good heist game but it's got so many problems at launch and the reason i'm doing this video and the reason i'm saying do not buy isn't just because of the optimization the frame drops and everything like that the server issues because sometimes it can be that the game's got even problems it's just released it's the fact that i think the community's actually had a part of this the developers released or the companies behind the game released a stress test beta basically so you log in they wanted everyone to play across pc and xbox they didn't do it for playstation like the latest one anyway before release they dropped a stress test for the servers to make sure the servers are up and running and there's been nothing but problems since the game launched so they obviously knew that there were going to be issues with the servers upon launch and realistically when there are going to be big problems i think the servers completely went offline at some point and the game's been out for two days and there's not been anything to sort it at the moment and yes granted we're at the weekend now but they should have had this stuff ready they did specific tests for the servers and one of the biggest reasons i believe they didn't delay the game and they didn't wait and sort the servers out and stuff is because of the pre-orders there have been a lot of players jumping into this game since launch it's estimated anywhere between i, I know this is a big big range but it's estimated is across four different like companies that has been roughly between 200,000 and a million sales for this game on Steam. So even if you figure out the average and say there's 600,000 sales, that will probably be a big part of why they didn't delay the game and sort the servers out before release because there were so many pre-orders from people just blindly jumping into the game that they didn't want to say, oh, we've got to delay it for a week and they didn't want to risk people cancelling their pre-order. So I think the community has a part to do with it as well because people just always blindly pre-order 
They don't wait to see what the gameplay is actually like upon release and stuff. And because the money's there, it's going to encourage the investors to stay with the company and stuff. They don't do anything about sorting out the problems before launch. And that's why there are so many negative reviews because the gameplay, like server side, is fucking awful. It's bad enough having frame drops and stuff when you're playing due to a lack of optimization. But then when you have matchmaking and server issues on top of that, with disconnections, not being able to log in, loads of different things like that. It just becomes an absolute nightmare. And there's so much stuff they've got to do to fix this game is not going to be done quickly. So my recommendation is do not buy at the moment. I would highly recommend waiting for about a week or so and see what happens with the server optimization, the game's optimization, because it's a really, really good game, but it's got problems out of the gate. And hopefully... They see that there's a lot of numbers, there's a lot of money to be made, so hopefully they do like pull their fingers out and actually get the problem sorted. But as I said at the start of the video, if you're going to pick up this game regardless of my opinion or anything like that, then do yourself a favour, save yourself some money. If you're on Xbox or PC, grab the game on CD keys. And if you wish to support the channel at the same time, use the link in the description. But yeah, at least for the time being, my recommendation is do not buy Payday 3. And on that note, we are going to leave the video there. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is appreciated. If you wish to support me further as a creator, there are links in the description. Let me know your thoughts about the video in the comments. And if you want to watch more, you can click the video on screen. All support on the channel is greatly appreciated, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.